Uncle Sam FM here. This is episode four of the Iron Manager series. The last episode was kind of dull, right? So I thought I would do a, another, um, record another one. Uh, got a little further, and I'll just I'll just kind of show you how things have gone since the last episode when we saw uh, Tony Stark lead Nashville SC over Philadelphia Lone Star in the second round of the Open Cup. They won three to zero. Since then, the results have still been good, right? Beat um, Atlanta United three to one. Beat Charleston, the Battery one to nothing. Beat the Red Bulls two three to zero. Uh, then we went into the third round of the Open Cup, and we absolutely hammered the Chattanooga Red Wolves, which is a USL League One team. League One is the division right below the USL Championship. So not a surprising result considering Nash, my team is basically an MLS team. Probably the squad is not quite yet MLS quality, but it's still obviously high level. It's above USL championship, we'll put it that way. So, uh, you know, five, the 5-0 result is, um, I, I'm whatever, talking about it because it, it's it looks um, – it looks like it's the kind of result that we should be getting, and that's that's not wrong. But we've not quite been that dominant. You know, we've only scored more than we've scored five or more on two other times this season <clears throat> against Ottawa and then you, uh, Indy Eleven. So it really that it was a uh, pretty complete, uh, pretty complete result, right? To um, five nothing to move on to the Open Cup. It was, it was encouraging, right? Because it was a first team, and they just they did what they were supposed to do, and uh, really choked Chattanooga to death. Second team came out, got a three 0 win at Loudoun United. Or, sorry, no, that was the first team again. Yes, because the second team played Charlotte, and we got a draw, right? And that was a game where they scored in the first minute. Um, we scored ten minutes later. We were the better team. I wouldn't say we dominated. Probably deserved all three points, but. So that's how things are going. Real quick look at the table. Um, in the championship, we are obviously still in first place um, by far in the uh, in the Eastern Conference. We have a 21-point lead on Charlotte. They do have three games in hand. So, you know, worst case, I guess, if they won all three, uh, it would we would have a, uh, let's see, it would be a 12-point lead, which is pretty good with 11 games to go. Uh, again, not really worried about you know the, the regular season table from here on i feel like we've done enough work to where nobody's going to catch us this is the uh combined table the overall regular season <clears throat> um orange county is a little closer uh they've got two games in hand if they won both they would be seven back i guess eight yeah eight because it'd be 55 so um still feel good about where we are in the the league now here's the um Today, when we're in this episode, I'm going to do a, a live com against Columbus. Columbus is an MLS team. This will be my first match in the uh, whatever in competitive play against an MLS team. It's also important because my board wants me; they expect me to make it to the round of 16, which that all comes down to this one game right here. I need to win this one game to get to the round of 16. Columbus is a pretty good team, uh, managed by Caleb Porter, who is one of the um, young prospects. Uh, he coached at Akron and University of A or Akron University uh, in college soccer. Seems like he won at least a couple of national titles, did really well. He went to Portland, won the MLS Cup with Portland. He's since moved on to now Columbus, uh, a little closer to home for him, I guess, um, as Akron is in Ohio, same state as Columbus, so I think they're pretty close. So, um, so that's yeah. He's one, you know, he's a decent manager. Looking at their squad, uh, they've got a pretty good team. They're pretty solid. Pedro Santos is a threat. Um, my again, my scouting's kind of let me down a little bit, but you can see. Uh, just from the range of attributes, he is going to be a load. Jao Plata is one of the fastest players um, that at least I've ever seen in MLS. The guy is, he's little and he's quick. Uh, does it have his height? Where do I have his height? I guess I don't have his height here. Maybe it shows it. Oh, where is his height? Um, 
He yeah he I know he's wee. Oh there it is five two. Yeah he's wee, but the guy is like a bullet. Um, tough to um tough to catch up with. So they've got a, you know their, their attack is is potent, right? Um, Darlington Nagby is a very capable midfielder. Uh, he can play on the wing as well. Uh, again I don't know that they're going to start these eleven that he's got here because they are they did just play a match and and so we'll have that going for us because my guys are a little more fresh. But um, comparing the teams, he's they've got the better squad. Um, Porter has the better team. Uh, Fernando uh, Fernando Adi uh, is also he is he is his biggest finishing fourteen to nineteen. He'll almost undoubtedly start against us. But for some reason, he's not been playing. I'm guessing that he just came off of an injury. Um, not really sure why, but it would be crazy for to have this guy on the bench. He will be tough. Uh, you, he's fast as well. Um, he's not quite plot off fast, but he is, you know, he's a very good player and very determined. So yeah, squad wise, Columbus is going to come in and they're going to be the better team. So, um, so without, Hey, let's dive right in. Let's see what happens. Uh, I, you know, to make the board happy, I need this win. I don't feel like they're going to sack me if I lose, right? How can you sack a manager who has not lost 24 games into the league season? I, 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 would, I can't imagine that they would do that. But this was one of the things they asked. So, hey, yeah, I guess it depends on the board, on the, their uh, attributes, right? Um, I just tell them to go have fun. Right? They are the – Columbus definitely is the higher rep team. And so let's go to our opposition instructions. I am going to them all the positional OIs that I have, and I don't know if it does this to you guys. I will never go straight to set piece takers, and I probably should already have this set, but I've been changing it in matches just because I I want to make sure that the I've been playing with who plays the number ten, and the number ten is the guy I want taking my corners. It's just sort of how I have my kick on my corners my set pieces set up so there we go we are in the blue aways columbus in the bright yellow homes their home uh, kits and there you see plata speed already and i've got it on director i'm going to change that to sideline oh and they've already scored on a set piece that that really stinks yeah plata with the free kick sends it across and yeah, Zardes heads it to Zalari. Zardes is another guy. He's a national team player. Who, um, yeah, that's this is a this is a good attack that they have. So now we've got now we've got to play from behind. We'll see if we can make it happen. Godoy to Dunlotti, who takes it to the byline cross. So oh, Akam got a shot, but I guess he was offside. Somebody was offside. Get creative. Ooh, Plata across across the mouth of goal. Plata one touches it, but Willis was there. Mukhtar the corner, and here they go on the counter. That's <laughs> I probably should do something to you know try and um, deal with their counter attacks, but I don't know. I just I, I'm really I have this. Oh, we have a goal. We equalized. Dunlady. Makes it one all. Little scramble there in front of the goal. Don Lottie says, oh, look what I found. And, yeah, see, look at this. This is kind of a <laughs> – he just goes and just knocks it in. All right, we'll take it one all. Seven minutes in. We got a new game. So, yeah, I have a tendency to tinker. And so what I've really been trying to do is to not. Because <laughs> more often than not, my tinkering uh, – makes things worse all right mccarty to a cam to mukhtar shot saved by the keeper I, this this has the makings of being an interesting game this might be a fun game here uh throw in leo santos heads it back across the line we have another corner mukhtar puts it in nazarit heads it way over I'm hoping that my freshness, as you can see, I can't believe they did not start. They put him on the bench. I can't believe that's a shocker to me. Adi is on the bench. Plata now with the free kick. Willis has to jump. Well, of course he did, but he had to 
scramble to make that save. Another rethrow to a cam who cuts inside his shot. Parried wide. Mukhtar takes the corner, and Anibaba can't get it on target. And now the Reed has a yellow card. Going to take that off. All right, half hour in. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, Beckles wins it off of Plata. Plata is not what you would call a dynamic, skillful player, but man, is he fast. Leal out to Beckles. Oh, Don Lottie looking for his second. Puts it just wide of the post. Here we have a throw in Beckles to Cam. Back to Beckles who crosses. Oh, Don Lottie. Oh. Ball was parried over. And Nani Baba. And we're starting to put some stuff together now. Just can't find the target. So let's see if we can steal one right before the half. A cam out wide. Drops it to Godoy, to McCarty. And they're knocking it around. Donlotti slipped through. Nice through ball there. But keeper came up big for Columbus. Donlotti has it out wide. And it, I guess he could not get to it. All right. So that was exciting half. Uh, it's about as exciting as a 1-1 <laughs> half as you'll see with both goals coming in the first 10 minutes. Um... I'm not going to change anything. I mean, we were we had control of the game. Um, I'm happy for the most part. We'll tell Mukhtar. There's much more to come from him, and Mukhtar is Mukhtar is. I'm hoping that he'll come up big. He's got a he's he, his determination is just way too low. I'm going to try and ooh, Beckles tackle from behind. Um, my plan with Mukhtar, he's he's obviously he's my best player. Probably. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Scrambled Lovitz makes a nice play in the ball there. Uh, he's probably my best player, but that determination, I can't deal with that. So I'm going to probably trade him. Don Lottie volleys it way into, the, into row Z. Don Lottie here drops it to Willis, and we're going to start another build up to Godoy, to Anibaba. We go back. Baba again. We need to get this ball forward here, guys. And we lose it. Zardes. Oh, boy. Mensa. Oh, Zardes. He fired a rocket there that went wide. Just tell the guys to demand a little more here. Normally, I would think about making a sub, but in a 1 1 game, in a. Um, match that could go to penalties. I like to sit on my subs. And it looks like we got a free kick. Oh, well, and nothing happened. So that was a highlight all about nothing. We go near the 80th minute and have a yellow on Lovitz. I'm going to go in and ease off. So after all the excitement of the first half, this one, the second half has just been dead for the most part. Uh -oh. Columbus with a highlight. Uh, oh, Cam. Oh, he wins it. Give me the win. Oh, Cam. Oh, oh. Uh, I needed that. All right. 89th minute. Last minute of play. Leal takes it. Back to Beckles. To Dunlady, and he's got it. That's his second. Nashville takes a 2-1 lead. I'm going to pause. First, I'm going to beat my subs. Then we'll watch the highlight. Okay, oh, what do I do? All right. Um, okay. First, we calm down. We calm down. I'm going to put in a center back. Uh, Romney actually is better than Alibaba, but Alibaba and Nazarit kind of put this connection together. I didn't want to mess with that. But now, in this situation, I'm putting him in. Okay, uh, Sarkati or Sarkoti, you're gonna come in for Beckles just to give a little more um, fitness there. And oh man, I'm a fan. I don't, I don't want to take out any of these other guys. The, the gap is too big. From I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put in Baji for Liao. Yeah, it's 
probably a mistake, but here we go. I have faith. And let's watch the highlight. As always, hopefully the winner. Leal here gets past Francis's tackle. Bacalis crosses to Dunlotti, who steps back, heads it in, heads it to the far corner, low. Aims low, which is, is harder for keepers to deal with. And, oh, you know what? I didn't even think about. I need to put in my shut up shop. And I did remember to drop the mentality on that. Somebody posted a comment. Um, okay. Do I need to change anything else? Uh, opposition instructions. I am going to go ahead and make sure we do that. And let's hope that this is just to end it. Don Lottie with the foul. Okay, tactical changes are made. So, Mukhtar to Godoy. Godoy out to Baji. Baji back to Mukhtar to McCarty. Yeah, let's knock it around a little bit. But don't be stupid. Go the other way, Godoy. What are you doing? Love it. Makes a nice little run. And that is it. We are through. I, this is you won't see many people celebrate a fourth round cup win like that uh, but it, it it's big because it accomplishes one of the goals right obviously I'd like to win the cup go right into MLS play with a Champions League berth but uh, you know I, the big thing was just getting to the round of 16. let's see if my uh, opponent is set yet. Uh, yeah, it's not drawn yet. Um, tell you what, it's drawn tomorrow. We'll, we'll continue to it. Go to the press conference. Um, hey, as long as we're in it, we still got a chance. Um, delighted. Joy to behold. Somebody was outstanding. Telling me he did a good job. And let's get to the draw. See who we play. Oh, Atlanta United, it, which the Open Cup is a regional draw. And so Nashville and Atlanta are pretty close to each other, at least closer than most of the other MLS teams. So no big surprise that that's who we draw. Atlanta United is one of the best teams in the league. They obviously won MLS a couple of years ago. They will, uh, if we beat Atlanta United, we will play the winner of Minnesota United and Chicago, another kind of regional matchup there. So... Uh, very exciting. All right. Um, that one was a lot more intense than that 3-0 blah, blah, the win over Lone Star. Uh, next up, um, oh, that's our next game. Eh, probably, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's, um, do you have a couple of friendlies coming up? Uh, just to look ahead, I, I scheduled, we have this big gap, which uh, MLS teams use to schedule um, international friendlies. So I use that. Picked up Boca from Argentina and uh, Stuttgart from Germany, so probably won't do another live com till you know down here somewhere. I tell you what, if I make it to the Cup final, I uh, will do that. But I doubt I'll be able to. I seriously doubt I'll even be able to beat Atlanta. I am at home, so we'll see. But uh, this is Uncle Sam FM signing off. I'll see you next time.